What's up everybody, this is Austin Harley. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top five best credit cards to get approved for even if you have bad credit. Now to clarify, when I say bad credit, I mean in the range of 300 to at least the low sixes. Anything above that, you will most likely automatically get approved for these types of cards and should be looking for a middle tiered card. To set expectations for this video, we're gonna be starting out with the worst cards in my opinion and ranking them up all the way to the fifth very best card that you can get. We're gonna be talking about unsecured versus secured. We're gonna be talking about awards and we're going to be talking about why you should even apply for a credit card if you have bad credit in the first place. We'll also touch on fees for all these credit cards and down in the description below I will leave a link to each individual credit card so you can do your due diligence and ultimately make the best decision before applying for any of these types of credit cards. Now before we get started what in the world would you want a credit card in the first place if you have bad credit? Each financial institution is going to have a different risk tolerance to get approved for that credit card. So for example if you file bankruptcy and get discharged from it you can't expect to go apply for a city Bank card or an American Express card the next day and get approved. Those are most likely going to be the higher tier card and going to require a 700 plus credit score. So to give you one piece of advice in this video, don't be applying for credit cards left and right because inquiries ultimately drag your credit down. And if you do honestly need access to credit because you have bad credit, I want you to switch the mind frame of getting access to credit to have access to capital or money or cash. But on the other hand, to get access to credit so that you can ultimately improve your credit score. Because if you have bad credit, the best way to increase your credit score is by using your credit cards very wisely in the algorithm that I've made in any of these other videos that I'll link up here and down in the description so don't forget to check those out. Now also in this video I did mention that we're going to be talking about secured credit cards versus unsecured credit cards. So just to get that out of the way a secured credit card is something similar to a rent deposit that you would put down whenever you're renting a place. So in the credit card realm if you were to go apply for a Capital One secured card then you would simply put an amount down towards that credit card and they would give you a line of credit with either the same limit or something slightly higher than the amount that you put down. So if you put $300 down as a security deposit, then you would most likely get a $300 line of credit on a piece of plastic we know as a credit card. In the mix of these five best credit cards for bad credit, we're gonna be going over some that are secure and some that are unsecure, and we'll go over the pros and cons of each. But in a nutshell, it doesn't really matter what you get approved for. The goal is just to get an active trading line out there so that you can start increasing your credit. And sometimes you have to use secure credit cards as a stepping stone to get into to the unsecured credit card approval realm. All right, so in the top five best credit cards for bad credit, number five is gonna be coming in with the Indigo MasterCard. Now this card is an awesome option for people that don't wanna put down a security deposit or go the traditional route of getting a secured credit card. And on top of that, you can get pre-qualified to see if you'll get approved for this card without even running a hard inquiry. Now ultimately, if you are gonna apply and get approved for this card, you will have to run a hard inquiry on it, but it's really nice to know that at least you'll get approved for it before. The Indigo MasterCard is designed for people with bad credit to help them increase increase their credit score. And because of that, there is a cost to increasing your credit score. There is an annual fee. Now, the cool thing about the Indigo MasterCard is that it keeps your credit profile in mind. So if you have a decent to low credit profile, you'll probably get charged in the higher end of the annual fee of around $99 to $100. So if you're kind of on edge and have applied for other credit cards in the past with other institutions and have gotten declined and you just really need to desperately fix your credit, I would recommend you to start off with the Indigo MasterCard. The only downside or caveat that I could see is it's going to come with high interest rates, but as we talked about, if you're building up your credit, you should be paying your balance in full. The other downside of the Indigo MasterCard is it's not gonna give you a really big line of credit. I mean, you're talking about around $300 to $500, depending on your credit profile, which is not a whole lot, but remember, follow the 10 or 30% rule that we talk about in all my other videos that I'll link up here and down in the description. Don't charge more than 30%, pay it off in full before the statement cut, and keep that going for at least six months and see if the credit card company will actually increase your credit limit without running a another hard inquiry. And the last thing we'll talk about, which pretty much every single credit card nowadays already has, but it's a free credit check when you get approved for this card. So if you have the card, you can download the mobile app or go online and you can look at your free credit score. All right, so the second credit card in the top five credit cards for bad credit is gonna be one that I personally use myself when I was repairing my own credit. It's creditone.com. Now Credit One is kind of like a knockoff of CapitalOne.com and there's gonna be tons of people out there that are gonna hate this because they hate the company, they charge too many fees, too much interest, but Credit One is actually a decent company and here are the reasons why. First off, when you apply for Credit One, it's the same thing like the Indigo MasterCard. You submit a pre-qualification and they're gonna tell you whether you get approved for the unsecured or the secured. So it kind of goes on option. They're not really gonna just decline you and the approval rates for this are pretty much guaranteed that you're gonna get approved for either one or the other. And 
the cool thing about the Credit One unsecured card is that yes, there's an annual fee of $99. On the flip side of that, you get 1% cash back on select items. So if you spend wisely, you might be able to even get that annual fee completely away for you and build your credit up for absolutely free. Now, on the flip side, if you get approved for the secured card, they do have staggered security deposit, but I believe they have a deposit tier of like $49, $99, and $199. They'll get you approved for a credit limit starting at $300, and they'll most likely do a credit line increase the year after, but keep in mind that the annual fee starts at $79, and then the following year renews at $99. When I was first recommended to this card to improve my credit, the only downside is I thought they were going to charge the annual fee at the very end of the year, but they've actually gotten a lot smarter and probably caught on to that. So Credit One, the company charges the annual fee in the very beginning when you get approved. So if you're using this as a stepping stone to get approved for a higher tier credit card, then you want to make sure that you cancel this card before you get charged that second year annual fee, or else you want to keep it a whole nother year. And I know you guys are going to hate me because you're going to say never close credit cards, but look, you're not going to sit there and pay an annual fee and tie up your security deposit the entire time. It's just not realistic. Using a secured card is more of a gateway. However, if you get approved for the unsecured card, the same thing goes because you're going to have an annual fee and you do get the rewards. So if you use your money wisely and do get the cash back, it might actually be worth your while to look into the credit one. Now on the flip side of all the positives, there are negatives being that it has a low credit limit and it does have high interest rates. But again, use your credit wisely. Don't rack up balances, pay your balance in full before the statement cut and increase your credit score. Okay, moving on to the third credit card, we're gonna be talking about Capital One. Now, Capital One is one of my personal favorite credit card companies because they're so flexible and have very good and high approval odds, especially for car loans and things like that. Capital One has a large variety of credit cards and if you go onto their site and click on the credit cards tab at the top, the cool thing about the company is they wanna be very transparent with their approval odds. So they'll tell you literally what credit score or credit tier you have to have to get approved for certain things. And on the flip side of that, since I used to be a Capital One employee, I kind of know a little segue or secret that you can use to skip and upgrade your credit card just by calling the customer service. So the credit card that I'm gonna be recommending from Capital One is gonna be the secured card. It does require a deposit, but just like Credit One, the knockoff version of Capital One, they do it in tiers. So depending on your credit profile and your credit worthiness, they're gonna either require a security deposit of $49, $99, or $200. And there's two little secrets about Capital One credit cards that I wanna explain to you in this video. The first First one is that they have a automatic credit line increase every six months. Then you would know that you're going to automatically get a credit line increase every six months. The second tip is if you call the customer service 12 months after you get approved and use the Capital One secured card has to be an entire year. There's a 90% chance that they're going to be able to upgrade you to their Quicksilver card without an annual fee completely for free and refund your security deposit back to your account. So you don't even have to go through applying for another credit card. And that's why Capital One is the third best credit card for bad credit. Now, just as a quick cut to remind you, if you've had any bad relationships with any of the financial institutions that I'm talking about throughout this video, you want to avoid them at all costs. And what I mean by bad relationships is collections, any money, money that you owe them in a checking, savings account, anything of that sort, they're most likely gonna just automatically decline you. Now, since the beginning of the video, I've been talking about avoiding annual fee cards because you don't wanna continuously pay an annual fee for the rest of your life. And we all know that when you close a credit card with very good credit history or a long credit history, it can negatively affect your credit. But unfortunately, when you're increasing your credit score and you have pad to poor credit, it's really difficult to get approved for cards without annual fees. But this card, which makes it fourth on our list on the top five best credit cards for bad credit, has one of the lower annual fees uh, of this video. And it's the Platinum Prestige MasterCard Secured Card. Now I was a little bit hesitant when I looked at this card and did the initial research for this video. And that's because I don't really like off brands that you don't see too much because it scares me. It makes me think that they're just some like financial institution running out of a basement. <laughs> but after doing a little bit further digging, I found out that their annual fee was only $29. Yes, they're gonna have a really high interest rate, but just pay off your balance in full. And on top of that, their approval rates are pretty much 100%. For example, I don't know if you can see this, but on their credit card, it literally states, no credit history or minimum credit score required for approval. If you qualify for one of our secured cards, you will also qualify for either of the other two. So it kind of gives you some options to choose from. And if you've been declined credit in the past from other vendors, then this would be a no brainer to apply for because it's got a low annual fee and you're ultimately gonna get automatically approved for the card anyway. Now, just like we talked about with the other secured cards and the cards that have an annual fee, because it has an annual fee and it's going to require a deposit, this particular card requires a deposit of anywhere between $200 and $2,000 
Ultimately, the more money you put down, the higher credit limit you get back. If you're just looking to improve your credit score, you don't have to go all out and put $2,000 down. You're perfectly okay with only putting $200 down, but ultimately you're gonna wanna cancel this card and treat it as a stepping stone to get approved for one of the other cards that I'm gonna mention at the end of this video. And this is super exciting because we made it to the fifth and final the absolute best card you can get for bad credit, it's the Discover It Secured or Unsecured card. Now, if you wanna play it safe, go with the secured version. If you have below a 650, go with the secured version. If you have above a 650, you're right on edge and you just wanna risk it, try and go for the unsecured version. I'll leave a link down in the description that will take you directly to the site so you can learn more about their card. However, this is a fantastic card to start building your credit and on top of that, start earning rewards. Now, Discover is a huge, company. And because of that, they have a zero annual fee. That's right, you heard it. Their secured credit card has a zero annual fee. It also gives you 2% cash back up to $1,000 every quarter or every three months, which is just completely unheard of for a secured credit card. And on top of that, just like we talked about with the secured card from Capital One, if you use your account just like the way that I tell you in this video, then you will be eligible possibly for an account upgrade in eight months time to get automatically approved for an unsecured credit card so that you don't have to reapply and run another inquiry and on top of that they'll refund you your security deposit back so that's why this is the absolute best credit card for bad credit so there you have it you have the top five credit cards for bad credit in 2020 my name is austin harley i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it taught you something new if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you on the next video